Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To change the theme settings for your device, open the settings window and click the personalization button in the middle of the screen to display personalization settings for your device. Then click the themes category at the left side of the window to see theme settings in the right side of the screen. Note that these settings are only links to theme related windows in the control panel and theme related dialog boxes. You can click the Theme Settings link to open the Personalization window within the Control Panel, which allows you to select a theme to apply. After selecting a theme, you can click the X in the upper right corner of the window to close it. Under the Related Settings section, you can click the Advanced Sound Settings link to open the Sound dialog box, which allows you to customize the sounds played by Windows events. On the Sounds tab within the Sound dialog box, you can select a Windows event from the listing shown in the Program Events list and then choose the sound to play for that event from the Sounds drop-down. You can add a custom WAV file to play by clicking the adjacent Browse button and then selecting one from the dialog box that appears. After customizing the default sound scheme, you can click the Save As button to open a Save Scheme As dialog box where you can type a name for your custom sound scheme. You can then switch between the sound schemes that are available by making a choice from the Sound Scheme drop-down within the dialog box. Click the OK button when you're finished here to save your changes, or click the Cancel button to discard your changes. To close the sound dialog box, click the X in the upper right corner when done. You can click the Desktop Icon Settings link to open the Desktop Icon Settings dialog box that allows you to select which icons appear on your desktop and how they look. By default, you will only see the Recycle Bin icon shown on the desktop. To add icons for other items that you frequently use to the desktop, so you can simply double-click the desktop icons to view them, check the checkbox next to the name of any icon shown in the Desktop icon section. To remove icons from the desktop, uncheck the checkboxes next to the name of the icons to remove. When done, click the OK button to apply the choices. You can click the Mouse Pointer Settings link to open the Mouse Properties dialog box. To close the Mouse Pointer Settings dialog box when you're finished, just click the X in the upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.